Never met yeah. a single one that said, Dave, I made all my money with my airline miles. I made all my money. Nope. Um, Write a check and pay cash for it. Are you getting other debt? Are you someone struggling to make ends meet even after having decent pay? Are you not able to save money even after you try so hard? It is not your mistake. It's just that you don't know the tricks to get it done. In today's video, we will introduce the 10 powerful tips by Dave Ramsey on living on a middle class income. With no time wasted, let's get us started. Let's now look at who Dave Ramsey is. American radio host Dave Lawrence Ramsey III was born on September 3, 1960, and he provides financial guidance. The Ramsey Show, a nationally syndicated radio show hosted by him. The New York Times bestseller, The Total Money Makeover, is one of Ramsey's many books. From 2007 to 2010, he aired a program on Fox Business. Ramsey was conceived by property developers in Antioch, Tennessee. He played ice hockey while he was a student at Antioch High School. Ramsey passed the real estate licensing exam at 18 and started selling real estate while attending the University of Tennessee, Knoxville, where he graduated with a Bachelor of Science in Finance and Real Estate. After several years of financial recovery, Ramsey started giving financial advice to couples at his local church. He established Lambo Group, a company that provides financial counseling in 1988. In 1992, he also created and self-published his first book, Financial Peace. In 1992, Ramsey debuted as one of the three alternating hosts of The Money Game on the Nashville radio station WWTN. The three-hour daily call-in financial counseling talk show, The Dave Ramsey Show, was finally born from the original program. Number 10. Live on a Budget Living on your budget, according to Ramsey, is crucial. A budget is a strategy for determining how you'll spend your money. According to Ramsey, it puts you in charge and gives you authority over every dollar you make or spend. Ramsey advises creating a list of your income and spending before calculating how much money is left over after deducting necessary expenses. He also suggests keeping tabs on your expenditures to determine whether you're following your budget and making necessary adjustments. If this one doesn't suit your needs, many alternative budgeting options are available. Finding a system that works for you is crucial. Number 9. Save an Emergency Fund Keeping an emergency fund on hand is one of Ramsey's most significant recommendations. He advised saving money in a high-yield savings account to cover unforeseen costs. According to the Ramsey Solutions site, if you have consumer debt, I recommend saving a starter emergency fund of $1,000 first. Then once you're out of that debt, it's time to beef up that amount and save three to six months worth of expenses in a fully funded emergency fund. This suggestion is crucial, given that only 68% of Americans had enough cash or savings to meet a $400 bill, according to data from the Federal Reserve Board. Emergencies can occur at any time, and if you don't have the money to cover them, you can use your credit cards, which would harm your long-term financial condition. Number 8. Invest 15% of your income for retirement For retirement, Ramsey advises investing 15% of your salary. In his opinion, your savings rate is the main factor determining whether you have a secure retirement. The big takeaway is this, no matter how much or how little you make, investing 15% of your income will put you back on track for a secure retirement, according to the Ramsey Solution blog. You must heed this advice, because Social Security only replaces roughly 40% of pre-retirement income. You require more than that, and having enough funds is essential. Number 7. Keep your housing costs to 25% of your income or less Ramsey also offers some wise real estate investing counsel. He specifically advises lowering your overall housing expense to 25% or less than your take-home pay. This guidance is essential since making excessively large home payments may restrict you from using your money for other necessary expenses. Additionally, you run the very real risk of not being able to make payments if something happens to reduce your income. Check your pay stubs and see how much money you have left over after taxes to heed this advice. Then allocate 25% of this sum for housing expenses, including mortgage principal and interest, property taxes, insurance, PMI if necessary, and HOA dues. I hope you're enjoying the video so far. Watch till the end and we've got a surprise waiting for you. Number 6. Don't buy a house without down payment More sage counsel from Ramsey is available for prospective homeowners. He advises against making a down payment on a home purchase. 
If possible, he advises putting 20% down to avoid purchasing the private mortgage insurance lenders typically need for loans with low down payments. He advises putting down a minimum of 5% if you're a first-time buyer and can't afford to do that. His advice is crucial because without a sizable down payment, your loan will be more expensive, you won't have as many options for lenders, and you risk owing more money on your mortgage than your house is worth and becoming trapped in it. Number 5. Get renter's insurance if you rent Renters can benefit from Ramsey's suggestions as well. Ramsey emphasized the need for renter's insurance while advising anyone who owns anything to do so. Renter's insurance also safeguards your assets if you are sued if a visitor suffers harm while on your property. This advice is crucial because you might lose everything if your flat is destroyed or if you are sued and found guilty. Number 4. Buy the least expensive house in the best neighborhood. Another advice from Ramsey to prospective homeowners is to buy the least expensive house in the best neighborhood you can afford. That gives your home's value room to grow in the future, he continues. Buyers browsing a neighborhood where homes cost $200,000 won't be interested in $300,000 homes. It's been said before to prioritize location. A home over-improved for the neighborhood is not what you want because buyers won't want to pay the premium in the future. Number 3. Buy a term life insurance policy Ramsey advises purchasing a policy with a death benefit of 10 to 12 times your yearly income, which might serve as a solid general indicator for the protection you require. While you're still as young and healthy as you can be, you should have a policy in place so that if something unfortunate happens, your loved ones won't be in financial trouble. Number 2. Invest in a 401k and a Roth IRA for retirement. What you should do with that retirement money is something that Ramsey recommends very highly. He believes that you should contribute to a Roth IRA after maxing out your employee-sponsored 401k. Some employers provide a 401k plan, and a lot of them match employee contributions. If your employer has this option, speak to HR to learn the guidelines for using your entire match. To receive the entire match, for instance, if your employer matches 50% of your contributions up to 6% of your pay, you would need to contribute 6% of your salary. Fill out the necessary documentation with HR to sign up for it as soon as possible and prevent leaving money on the table. Ramsey advises starting a Roth IRA with a brokerage house when your match is gone. Unlike a 401k or regular IRA, a Roth IRA does not permit tax-deductible contributions in the year you invest. However, as Ramsey points out, you get to take advantage of tax-free withdrawals, which means you'll have more money as a senior when you need it. This deferred tax cut will benefit many people because tax rates are close to historic lows and could rise. Number 1. Get rid of credit cards the majority of Ramsey's credit card recommendations are poor. He advises that you stop using credit cards altogether, but doing so will prevent you from using them to accrue points and raise your credit score. He's right on the money though regarding store cards. He says these have higher interest rates, urge you to spend more money, and have subpar reward programs. Although signing up for one can sound appealing, other possibilities exist. And that's all we have for you in today's video. How inspiring was that? Let us know in the comments. So, what are your plans? Start saving today without wasting any time to get the best results. If you like the video, leave a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends and family who will find a benefit. That's all for now. See you soon with another video. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to never miss a single update.